Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete. Welcome back to my man cave and this is episode number 67A, the question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. I was about to drop this series for lack of interest but many people said they did like it so I have a few more items here and I think I will continue it for a while. Now the answers for this will be one week from today so that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. There is uh, at least one item here that I do not know what it is for or its purpose. So let's dig right in and there will also be a little extra credit for those of you that can stand it. Okay, here are the four items and uh, some of these are easy. Of course they're all easy if you know what they are. But I like to have some that are easy enough to give you an interest or satisfaction of knowing something. But I'd like to have a couple things that are rather obscure. And I think I do. And older people will know what at least three of these items are. This, this, and this. I don't think that uh, anybody that is young probably has seen some of these things. By young I mean under 70. So let's begin here with item one. Okay, what is number one? Well, we all know it's a hammer. That's pretty darn obvious. And I've had this item for only exactly one week. I was at a tool meet, and I met up there with uh, David Peterson. I think he said he's from Wisconsin. And uh, he said, you can have this, and uh, can you figure out what it is? And we both looked at it, and we do not know. And there were a few other men standing there that did not know. And it's just like, well, I'll tell you what, this is a hammer that was designed by a committee, isn't it? It's just awful. It's pretty beat up, too. Now, I have no idea what it's for. I don't believe it's a nail hammer. This is what a nail hammer looks like. Look at the beauty of that thing and the fit and the finish and all of that. That's a plum. But anyway... What in the world is this for? It's got a bit of a curve here. Well, there is a slot that almost looks like a claw for a claw hammer. This end is just, it almost looks like a welding hammer, doesn't it? But it is terribly out of balance. So heavy on this end compared to this. It just feels incredibly awkward. You see that? That's a replacement handle that is quite short. I think too short for the weight of this and Bubba installed the handle. So what in the world do you think this was manufactured for? Obviously it's pretty good steel because it, and it's hardened because it chipped away when someone hit something else that was real hard. And at first I thought, well, it could be a prospector's hammer or something of that nature, but I really do not know. And that is the purpose of me putting the follow-up video a full week or more away from the original video. What in the heck is this atrocity, this abomination to the Lord? And thank you David for giving this to me. Okay, here's item two. Now I covered up, this is a gauge, this is obviously a gauge, but the answer would be on the face of the gauge, so that's why I covered that up. And this was given to me fairly recently no, not recently at all, by John Lester from Virginia. Again, if you're over 70, you will have seen these many, many times. Notice that it's got two sharp prongs there. You know what? I could send this to A-bomb. He could check the temperature of meat. And some of those steaks that he cook are so thick, you know, he could... You could check it on this probe. Yeah, this is a meat thermometer, isn't it? No, it's not. So what is it? Unusable today without a certain product. It just wouldn't work on the modern product that we do still have. Pretty antiquated. Perfect shape. Obviously never ever used. What is? Item number two. Okay, item three, extremely obscure, and it's only a portion of a machine. 
I do remember this from college. It's an antiquated machine that is no longer used. An incredibly complicated machine. They say that the inventor of the machine went insane after he finished it. I am going to give you a, a, a clue. The man's name who invented the machine that this went into, his name was Mergenthaler. That's right, Mergenthaler. Notice that these are wedges. Probably less than one degree. Do not confuse them with Jacob's wedges or Jacob's ladder. So what in the world is this? I did not know. You probably watched me at one time pull these out of a box of junk that I bought or got from an auction, I forgot, and several people told me what they came out of. And then I'm there, oh yeah, that's right, I remember these. And the whole principle of them is to slide like this and change the uh, thickness. You know, we could use this as a as a gauge in a slot, couldn't we? And then with a micrometer, fit into a slot and, yeah, kind of like a taper gauge, but that's not what it is. So what in the world is number three? I would expect that only six people will know what this is in the comments. Do put your best guess in the comments. What is item four? It's about the size of a nickel. I don't have a nickel in my pocket, so this is a roll of caps. You know what? I should have put that. <laughs> what is this item? Some people actually wouldn't know, would they? Anyway, that's irrelevant. Size of a nickel. Chrome plated. Very nicely done. I'll try to get a close up of it. Notice that I was painting yesterday the foundation. Look at that. Anyway, look at these little screws. Instrument size. And this is glass or plastic, I can't tell for sure. And if I flip it over, these are points, little prongs. You're not going to be able to tell that. There, you can. And I guess the installation of them or the depth was controlled by these tiny little screws. I did have one of these and use it all the time in college. I'm not sure you can see, but right in the middle of it, there's a little target. X marks the spot and a tiny little divot. Can you see it? Does anyone care? What is this item? You'll never guess, I guarantee it, unless you used one. And uh, not that many people would have used them. And I'll tell you all the answers a week from now. I hope you like this. Time for extra credit. Is anyone still with me? What is this item? Many of you will know. Again, it helps, I think, if you're a little bit older. And you know, while I'm at it with extra credit, what is this thing? Never mind. I covered up the data plate here and some information right here that give it away. It's a very heavy item. I found it in a dumpster. I'll talk all about that some other time. It's missing the knob right here. This would have been quite an expensive item when it was purchased. It still would be used in some shops, but not so much anymore. What is this item? Put it in the comments. Thank you, people, for sending things in to me. Interesting items. All right. That's the end of this video. Now, be sure and tell your friends about my videos, because I tell you what, my subscriptions and my <laughs> views are really uh, waning, diminishing. I think I have become a little bit abrasive, possibly. I need to be more smooth and uh, kind-hearted like Adam is. You know, he never says anything controversial or that could possibly hurt anyone's feelings. He's a good guy, and I'd like to use him as my model, maybe to improve my videos. But anyway, I'll see you next time. This is Mr. Pete.